The CIRA qualification is a high quality risk management qualification for actuaries. It's been set up since 2009 and is available from 16 different actuarial associations around the world. It equips actuaries with the ability to contribute effectively to the risk management of an organisation, not just in finance, but across the whole spectrum of what the organisation does. It's available from Australia, Japan, through to Europe and the USA. and I'm an actuary who's been involved in setting the CIRA Global Syllabus. I'm going to talk to you about what the CIRA qualification actually involves and why it might be of interest to you. Each member association has its own route to the CIRA qualification and that might typically involve an examination or assessment and perhaps attending a course, workshop or seminar. Each of these routes has been approved by the CIRA board to ensure that the standards remain consistent with each. Each CIRA qualified will have met the minimum educational standard as set by the International Actuarial Association and is also required to meet the minimum Enterprise Risk Management or ERM syllabus objectives set by the CIRA board. Also, as a member of an actuarial association, each CIRA qualified must abide by the professional standards and the code of ethics of that association. As Trevor has said, the ERM-specific content of the syllabus encompasses both qualitative and quantitative elements. The latter might more typically be expected of actuarial work and would encompass things such as measuring, analysing and modelling risks and setting capital requirements. But the qualitative aspects are a very important part of the CIRA syllabus and would include aspects such as risk culture, governance, setting up a new ERM framework perhaps, um, articulating a risk appetite and, of course, covering the various techniques that are used to mitigate different types of risk. These aspects in particular would be very important for those of you who would wish to take your CIRA qualification into a more holistic career route, perhaps as a Chief Risk Officer. The syllabus doesn't just cover financial risks, of course. It covers all sources of different risk, including operational risks, strategic risks, external risks, and of course, emerging risks. The CIRA syllabus has been designed not just to be relevant to financial services companies, but to any type of business or organisation. We already have actors working in risk management in areas such as energy or transport, the CIRA qualification has already opened up doors for actuaries and there's continued interest in it on a global basis. I would strongly recommend the qualification to anybody wanting to further a career in risk management or indeed to anybody interested in hiring professional risk management talent. Personally, I'd love to have the CIRA qualification myself, but I can't because I help to set the examinations. So from what you've heard, I'm sure you agree that the CIRA qualification is well worth investigating from a company perspective and as an individual who might want to hold the qualification.